I first got into business by accident, I guess. Uh, I'd had a, quite a, a varied career. Uh, I was, uh, you know, central banker and then a uh, investment banker and then a, uh, running a hedge fund. And uh, I really just, uh, you know, had, was approached by a few different people to get involved and invest in things, and uh, just sort of started doing that. More or less out of curiosity, uh, an investment decision, and. Um, the other thing that happened was that uh, I was interested in uh, some of the things coming out of universities, and I, I had this idea of commercialising uh, intellectual property out of universities. So it was actually an idea at that point, but it wasn't really until uh, I was well into my thir- you know, mid thirties that I that I started to be uh, involved in business. There's a lot of obstacles in business, and uh, you know, I probably faced all of them. You know, having backed about seventy different uh, companies. Um, Everything. I mean, it just surprises me what can go wrong in a business. <laughs> you know, you need uh, a bit of luck and you need a lot of things to go right because there's always something happening, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, stock being damaged or, or problems with staff or, or the market changes or a competitor suddenly appears out of the blue. I mean, I've seen it all, you know. Um, dealing with, you know, small companies, dealing with big companies, you know, the big companies always seem to take forever to make a decision. You know, the challenges, challenges are just endless. Finding finance for uh, businesses is is always the challenge, you know, for, for new businesses which are making a loss and, uh, you know, which are yet to reach profitability. And the market is very, very cyclical. So, obviously, when there's a credit crunch or a recession of any sort, it's very, very difficult. So, you know, I'm always, for my companies, I'm always encouraging them to uh, do the fundraising when times are good. Uh, and, and, you know, even though you may not think you need the money, it's, you know, when there's money around, you probably should take it as a small company. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, a lot of the times I invest myself, obviously, in, in the companies as well as get involved in the management. Uh, but you always, as it grows, you always want to bring in outside investors, you know, for a number of reasons. You know, you want other help. You want, you know, a, a range of experience with your investors. And, you know, obviously you want liquidity for yourself. Sooner or later you want to be able to, you know, sell out your shares to somebody else as well. I've never really thought of myself as uh, extraordinarily successful. Uh, I guess you just sort of, you know, uh, just inch by inch, you're just trying different things and, uh, you know, I'm not really motivated by money, oddly enough, it's really just trying to get things to work and uh, in, in the world of small businesses, you know, where you have a lot of failures, it's, you never really feel that successful. I mean, you know, you have your good days when you suddenly sign a big deal or a company floats on the stock market or, or something like that or a company gets bought, you know, obviously they're good days, but it's always such a, such a struggle that you never really feel like the job is finished. So uh, it, it just feels like a work in progress rather than being, you know, sitting back and thinking how successful I am. <laughs> the secret of being an entrepreneur, who knows? I mean, I, I think there's one common factor that I've seen in all entrepreneurs is that motivation, you know, drive and motivation, imagination, uh, passion. You know, uh, other, th- other than that, you know, some people, some of them are educated, some aren't educated at all. Uh, you know, obviously all different walks of life, all different nationalities, uh, religion. Um, there's no common theme running through it except for those things which I would say are motivation and uh, imagination, you know, and, and they are the vital ingredients. I've never met a lazy, successful entrepreneur. You know, I love this question about, you know, the product or the manager, um, and for me it's always the manager. Uh, I mean, a, a good manager can make a pretty average product work uh, by changing it or, or by moving to a completely different product. You know, they will evolve and, and make changes. Um, but, but I've seen, many times I've seen poor management mess up what looked like a good product. And in my early days, I used to be focused on, on backing the product. I used to spend a lot, of, a lot of time on the idea. And now I spend a lot more time on trying to assess the person who's involved. And, and then, secondly, you know, not as importantly, the product. You know, I've, I, I've picked up a, a reputation as, a, as an investor in technology. Um, but I've done a lot of other things as well. I guess, uh, you know, I did a private members club, home house. Uh, you know, invested in mining in, in, in Africa. Uh, I've tried a whole bunch of different things, you know. Um, and I think, and I'm just, you know, right now uh, getting involved in, in backing a business uh, contract for differences, you know. I, I invest in a brokerage. But uh, I guess I have done a lot of tech companies, and, and the reason for that would be that I'm particularly interested in products which can grab a big share of a new market. So I'm interested in groundbreaking ideas. And you know, when I did Home House, a private members club, it was, even though it was a club, it was, to me it was a groundbreaking idea, it was something different. And, and when I'm look, because I'm looking for something different, it does tend to be technology, because I'm not that interested in taking a, an existing market and, and trying to 
just do it a little bit better than everybody else and creep up my market share. I'm much more interested in uh, a brand new product, you know, and grabbing uh, almost a monopoly position in a new market. Well, you know, luck to me can, is, you know, good fortune is probably a better expression. Um, you know, like like if, if you if you happen to spot an opportunity because of the industry you're in, or you happen to meet someone, or or, or you bring out a product and it just happens to suit, you know, someone that you can partner up with to produce it, or or, or you meet someone, you know. You know, I was in developing business the other day, and just at a, at a party, happened to meet someone who gave me an enormous amount of help. And you just got to grab that. You know, you just got to grab those bits of good fortune and recognise when they happen. This is good fortune, and you've really got to, you know, because I'm often surprised by people who want to be successful and they get some good fortune, and they don't really recognise it or follow up on it.